All right, Michael O'Malley, uh, the international chair. What's up? How are you feeling? Feels Rudy. Uh, it happened so quick, I didn't even catch it, but you didn't have yeah. Kennedy in the finals. I guess you want to top uh, top freshman coming mm -hmm. to the country. Uh, walk us through the thing. Um, oh, he was marching real, real like forward, going pretty hard, like clubbing on the head, some normal like Iowa stuff, you know, like some hardcore hand fighting. And then I was just thinking in my mind, I was thinking this before the next show, but I kind of want to go home, so it's either go big or go home, you know. So, yeah. doing double overs, that's pretty much it. Nice. So highlight high, like, real stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean the whole tournament, you know, I haven't wrestled in what like eight months because of the whole COVID thing. So I was like, it's like my first tournament back. First couple matches, pretty much all the matches. I think I had one tech, but all of them were close. And I was like, might as well end it on a high note, you know? Yeah. Go back, uh, go not? back with a smile, <laughs> yeah, have some fun. Um, so what was that first match back on the match like? Um, nerves that I haven't felt in a while, you know. Yeah. A little nervous. I mean, I haven't wrestled in like eight months, like an actual match. We wrestled live in the room, but there's nothing you can do that'll actually simulate like a tournament. Yeah. So what's it mean to be able to get a tournament like this in, especially right before the season where you get, you know, a lot of quality competition and, and like I said, there's live matches that you yeah. just can't get. I mean, I think it's awesome, especially with like the season on the line. Nobody knows what's going to happen. We have a season or not. So this could be my last tournament of the year or it could be the first tournament. You know, I'm still not sure yet, but it's exciting to get out there and finally wrestle. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, Dressel, obviously, yeah. Pennsylvania RTC had a pretty strong show. Yeah, the best RTC. Years. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that and training that environment? Um, I mean, yeah, we've been training. Obviously, has to be real precautious because everything going on. But yeah, I mean, uh, we have a buddy on our team. We called it blue collar conditioning. Uh, that's what we've been doing. Yeah, okay, we've just been working hard, best we can, staying safe while we're doing it. And yeah, grinding. Um, so obviously, the focus is going to be focused out for, for the next couple of months. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see more of, you, more of you in freestyle going forward, though? I do freestyle every year, so yeah. You'll see me every year until I'm done with wrestling. Um, so obviously, unfortunately, no junior world this year. Yeah. But you're still a junior national champion. Uh, what does that mean to you? And, and in particular, what does it mean to see the work that you put in over this pandemic pay off like this? Uh, it's exciting because I thought my conditioning was going to be bad. I thought my strength was going to be down. I thought I was going to be a little rusty. But you know, it's taking consideration. Everybody is going through the same shit, so they're going to be. I don't know if I can say that. My bad. <laughs> but they're, they're going to, you know what I mean? They're they're going through the same stuff, so they can be just as you know rusty and just as, you know what I mean, worn out. But yeah, I don't know. Okay. Pull through, I guess. Oh, hey, Michael. Uh, highlight real performance. Sweet. Uh, great job today. Thank uh, you very much. You're in that title, and uh, looking forward to watching. Thank you. Hopefully, in a dress will come Yeah, of course. Forever, man. Thank you, man. Have a good one.